these are actually uh, quite a messy flower and you actually really want to have uneven numbers of petals. I know I'm doing five, seven, and seven, which sounds pretty even, but I'm gonna arrange them in a mess. So that's the nice thing about this flower. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick that up. You don't have to have the veiner. As you can see, I can just take the veiner, place it on here, and then press with the press with the foam, and it makes a nice vein down, down the petal. But you don't have to do that. You can just take this guy onto the foam and with a toothpick, just line, just make lines. Just make sure you don't, you know, actually poke into it. Okay, just be careful. It does the same thing, but then I'm gonna flip these over and soften the back of them just a little bit with my hair. I can use this. Just gonna soften with the ball tool. Paintbrush works. And then I'm gonna put them on my fancy flower former here so that they have a little life to them. Just lay them on the foil and let them go any which way they want and let them dry. Now, as the chocolate cools off, it's going to harden up again and let it air dry. So let's make the rest of our petals. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The bigger size. Done exactly the same way. Do de do de do. Now that I have all my petals done, I'm going to make the center, which is actually the flower part of the poinsettia. These are actually bracts, is what they are. Um, and the center part is the actual flower, what we would normally look at as stamens. Um, but these are actually the flowers, and they're in all different stages on the poinsettia. Um, some of them are tightly closed, and some of them are, are little cones with little fuzzy things that come out of them. That's, so those are actually the flowers. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually, I actually have some yellow candy clay here. I'm just gonna pinch off a piece. That's kind of a big piece. That's a small part right here. And then I'm gonna roll it into a cone. And that's pretty much what the center flower portion looks like. We're gonna dust the bottom of it green and then they'll have a yellow part. And then when they flower, the flower will be the color of, of these bracts. And when they flower, we're gonna represent that just by taking some fine scissors and making a couple snips in this chocolate clay not in any particular fashion, just some snips up there, see them? And then we'll dust those, just a very light shade of the pink. So with the bottom green, a little bit of yellow, and then the tops of it pink, those are the flowers that are in the center of the poinsettia. I'm gonna do, um, oh, I don't know, five, six, or seven of them, depending on how the mood strikes me for this. They're very quick and easy. Not all of them have to have the flowers. Some of them you can just leave with the cone. If you look at a poinsettia, they're pretty much all different stages. So, let's make a few of these. Snip, snip, snip. Without smushing it. 